but I'm going to give you a little bit of commentary as she goes along. You can see she's kicking. Squeezing and pushing him. He's very, very, he has a tendency, and we've seen this on the videos, to get a little bit deep and low behind the bit in his frame. And the reason she's pushing him is that she's trying to push him into that contact so that he'll come back up again and carry himself well. Anybody who saw videos of this horse in the beginning, we went and visited all these horses on their farms as we were selecting them. And we turned this guy loose in the attic. And he showed us some of the most amazing trot work that you've ever seen from Thurbrand. And you can see here that even now, in two weeks, he's starting to show that he's a good mover. They, they tend to have nice canners when they trot at the racetrack. They don't trot like this. They're being, they're being held kind of jimmy a little bit and they're going to get off. And we have to let them stretch their muscles find a different kind of a balance so that eventually we can get either a nice daisy cut or hunter type trot or a nice dressage trot where they're swinging the power forward. Okay. Or simply a trot that is not going to rise on the or pack or whatever the heck we want to do. But we don't want to change it with little small steps. And you'll probably hear a little from each of these riders about how they work to shift the balance of their horses so that they're not on their forehead like a racehorse. Racehorses lean forward the front legs and push up the back legs and lean to the middle when they run. And we don't want that little riding on the flatter jump. So, two weeks right now. This is two weeks off the track. Off the track and works two, two years of nothing. Time off is obviously can be great for their, their muscles in their bodies. Sometimes in their minds, sometimes it's good for horses, sometimes they lose their work ethic. 